Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Guillaume and I am a psychic medium. I have the ability to connect with spirits on the other side and they share their stories with me so that in turn I can share their stories with you. Today I am answering the question of what happens when someone dies from an accident. And I'm using the term accident very broadly here so it can cover a wide range of events. Events like a car accident, accidental drug overdose, a fall, a drowning, any type of scenario in which the death was unplanned, the death was unexpected, and the death was most likely pretty quick. So this video is going to cover all of those scenarios. What's interesting about those who pass away due to an accident is their experience is pretty much the same across the board. There doesn't seem to be as much variety in this form of a death as there is with even suicides, euthanasia, people who pass away naturally. It is a different experience, but seems to be very consistent. When someone dies from an accident, if the death was quickly, meaning that they probably hit their head or suffered some type of injury and they died that quickly, what they report is that they feel something push them out of their body very quickly. So it's like, and all of a sudden they're in their body one moment, outside of it the next. And there is this feeling of absolute confusion and bewilderment when that happens. The second scenario, which would be someone who dies of an accident, but the death doesn't happen that quickly, it doesn't happen with a snap of a finger, it's a slower process, is they feel themselves rising out of their body or slowly stepping out of their body, and they end up being out of their body before the actual death takes place. So they're stepping out as their body is trying to figure out basically what to do and how to survive. So the way that this feels for those individuals is they either feel themselves stepping out very, very slowly. It's like they're drifting out of their body and if you watched my video on what happens when we die, which I recorded about four or five years ago, um, I talk about how there's that Velcro feeling, like they feel the snap. Or they might talk about how it feels as if um, they're shedding their skin, as if they're a banana or a snake that sheds its skin. It's that type of feeling that they have as they're walking out of their body and they are feeling their physical form be left behind. The second scenario in that scene is that if they don't leave out this way or it could even be to their side, the other scenario that seems to be typical is they feel their energy centers open. We would know them as chakras. They feel their energy centers start to expand and overwhelm them. And what this does is it releases the holds that their spirit has to their body. So once those energy centers completely open up, their spirit begins to rise up to the top of their head until it comes out again through the top of their head, through their chakra. So the root chakra releases, the sacral chakra releases, the um, solar plexus center releases, and with each snap, with each opening, their spirit starts to lift up and they are eventually out of their body. So if somebody did die from an accident, one of the things that you should know is they did leave their body before that body actually died. Um, and so if you ever had the unpleasant experience of seeing basically a shell try to survive, meaning you saw someone get into an accident, maybe their body was doing some interesting things. One of the reasons it was behaving that way is because there was no spirit in there. That body didn't have any type of consciousness to control it. So while that event may have looked painful, there was no consciousness there was no spirit there was no soul in there to feel anything so at that point it is a body and the body does feel something but that consciousness is no longer in there 
If you ever saw someone pass away and it was from a accident of some sort and you saw their body doing some weird things and you're replaying that and you're thinking they must have been in so much pain, the body was in pain but the body doesn't exactly have emotions anymore because that person's no longer in that body. He's already stepped out or she's already stepped out. So I do feel like that's something that spirits usually want people to know, which is I didn't feel any pain. Like I stepped out before that could happen. The other scenario that is very typical, regardless of whether it was a quick exit or a slow one, is that they will stay with their body until that body is found. So if no one is around, they will stay put until someone comes to find them. Um, and if there is someone there, then usually what they'll do is they will try to console the person who is there with them and they'll maybe even try to give them direction. They'll say, you know, do CPR, do something. The initial experience that these souls have is shock, right? It's shocking. It's traumatic. They're confused. And when they're in spirit world, before they see the light and before they see their family and their loved ones come forward, they want to get back into their body. They usually want to stay here um, because they're scared, right? They don't understand what's going on. So there is that initial feeling of confusion, of overwhelm, of, oh my gosh, what just happened? And that feeling of this is wrong, like something's not right. So those are all the different scenarios that spirits have shared with me when it comes to dying from an accident. Once they come around to understanding what has happened and once there is someone who has found their body if they were alone, that's usually when that light begins to open up and they will see their family members come forward and they will see their friends and loved ones come forward and that is when they will cross over. So that's one scenario, that's the happy scenario. And that usually happens with someone who was a loving person, who is maybe empathic, who was a family man or a nurturing woman, like that is the scenario that they have. They are able to meet with their family members and cross over into um, Summerland or heaven or whatever you want to call it. The second scenario is the person who doesn't cross over. And this can happen a lot of times with one of two people. It is that personality type that is bitter, that is angry all the time, or it is someone who is very young and had so many things that they wanted to do in their future. So what's common with these two different personality types or these scenarios, I guess you could say, is that they don't want to cross over. They want to stay here. So for the person who is older and who is angry, their anger, their bitterness keeps them here because they look at their death and they're like, this isn't fair. This isn't even close to fair. This wasn't supposed to happen. They will refuse to cross over. And the light does open up for most of them. Most of the ones I've spoken to, the light does open up for them. But there are others that are so stuck in their anger. And I wouldn't even say grief, just anger that they don't even see anything open up for them. So whether the light does open up for them or not, I don't know. I just know that they report to me that they don't see anything. I believe that they're just so angry that they're missing the signs, that they're not paying attention to anything else other than what took place to them. And they will stay stuck in that energy. And that's when they become an earthbound or that's when they become a ghost and that's when they may haunt a particular area, usually the area of their death, but sometimes a place that is meaningful to them, like their home, whether it was their home when they were older or a home from their childhood. When it comes to the younger person who is upset and confused and feels basically betrayed by the universe because this death wasn't supposed 
supposed to happen and maybe they were engaged and maybe they just bought a home or they were about to buy a home or they were starting a new business you know they were about to get on with their life so they understandably feel short change and that is the type of spirit that will usually stay around for quite some time they will linger because they want to watch over their loved ones they want to usually try to find a way to come back is what they'll do and then once they've exhausted all those efforts and once they even feel like they've made a good connection with their fiance with their girlfriend with their boyfriend with their family when they feel as if everyone is doing relatively okay that's when they'll pass on but for that person it does seem to take quite a while because that trauma is so prevalent for them the confusion is prevalent and they just weren't ready to leave so they won't leave they won't really move on until they're able to gain some type of peace within their soul and usually family and loved ones and angels will come forward to help them with this transition because remember guys like even crossing over is an act of free will we get to choose if we're going to do that or not the other part of this is that family members who are still here in physical form can talk to their loved ones in spirit and say look babe i love you so much i'm so sorry this happened to you it really shouldn't have you and i can't even describe in words how much i miss you and how much your absence hurts me but i want you to also know how much i absolutely love you and it would give me some type of peace and it would make my heart more joyful and more hopeful if i knew beyond a shadow of doubt that you were with your loved ones that you are in heaven that you are in those realms where you don't feel this confusion where you know that you're safe where you know you're taken care of and where you can start that adjustment of being on the other side and being in a loving environment where you belong and as you sort of comfort them and tell them what they can expect and what's on the other side and as you tell them we'll still talk we will still talk i will still continue a form of communication with you but i need you to be safe that is something that can help them with that transition too because if they're in a state of confusion and their most precious loved ones are still here on some level they might be looking for your permission to cross over but at the very least they're probably looking for advice and who better to get that from than from you the person that they've spent the most time with, the person that they've loved the most during this incarnation, or one of the people they love the most during this incarnation. So that's something that you can do to help them to make that transition and to cross over. Now, if you would like to learn more about what happens when someone passes away from different scenarios, maybe euthanasia, suicide, whatever the case may be, I'd like to invite you to check out my other videos here on this channel. I will have a screen pop up with those videos in just a moment. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you to the Guiding Echoes community. And I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Here on this channel, we love to talk about things like what happens when we die. We talk about angels, intuition, psychic abilities, divination. If those are things that are of interest to you, please be sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so you can be notified in the future when I release new videos. Also, be sure that you check out these videos to the side to learn more about what happens when we die. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.